and welcome to Top Crop Manager This Week. Today's edition is brought to you by Mix It Up, an initiative focused on taking action against weed resistance. In this episode, we present exclusive coverage from Top Crop Manager's 2016 Herbicide Resistance Summit, held March 2nd in Saskatoon. Herbicide resistance is a growing problem that has forced many farmers to adopt new weed management practices. PhD student Brianne Tideman is studying the potential of using harvest weed seed control in Western Canada, a method that has been successful in Australia. For harvest weed seed control to be effective on weeds, weeds need to retain their seeds until the time of harvest. If they've already dropped them to the ground, they're already gone, we cannot control them. They also need to produce their seeds at a height from which we can collect them. So if they're producing them right at ground level, we would risk damaging our equipment in order to collect them. So producing them higher than 15 centimeters in height in the canopy is key. Tideman says this method is effective on volunteer canola where seeds are produced high up in the canopy, but it's less effective on some other common weed species. Cleavers is a little bit more variable, a little bit harder to pin. It's sort of a moderate possibility for targeting with harvest weed seed control, uh, particularly if we can use swathing to increase the number of seeds that we're able to collect. Wild oat, unfortunately, it consistently loses its seeds too early in the season for us to be able to collect a big enough proportion to actually impact those populations. Michael Walsh, Director of Weed Research at Australia's University of Sydney, also spoke at the summit. He offered an Australian perspective on harvest weed seed control. The main examples are the main systems that have been adopted. Primarily it's been narrow windrow burning. Um, the next most common one has been the use of chaff carts. Uh, now a uh, rapidly emerging one is chaff tram lining. And uh, then finally the, uh, the development of the Harrington seed destructor has introduced a system that uh, relies on mechanical seed destruction. It's a physical impact system. So the, the mill system processes the chaff material to impact on the weed seeds and render them non-viable. But Tideman says several variables will decide if the seed destruction is an effective tool for Canadian farmers. We have different weed species than what they do in Australia. We have much smaller weeds, we have much bigger weeds. So does seed size affect how well the Harrington seed destructor can work? What about the number of seeds going through? Is that going to affect how well it'll work? We have different crops, we have much heavier crops, they're uh, better producing. So the amount of chaff going through is going to be bigger. Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada purchased one of the machines last year. Research is underway to test how well the technology works against weeds in Ontario. That's our show for now from Annex Business Media's Niche TV Newsroom. Stay tuned for more exclusive coverage from the 2016 Herbicide Resistance Summit. Thank you to our sponsor, Mix It Up. You can find more news about Canadian crop production online or subscribe to the magazine and have copies delivered to you. On behalf of all of us here at Niche TV, thanks for watching.